Hello everyone, today is January the 2nd, 2017. Just wanted to share this article with you. This is a picture of the Pope and many of the world leaders um, at a meeting that just occurred in December. The title of the article is Fortune Time Global Forum Meets Pope at the Vatican. And the date of this article is actually Monday, January the 2nd, 2017, today. Fortune and Time editors gathered with select Fortune 500 and Time 100 business leaders, scholars, NGOs, nonprofits, church leaders, and philanthropists at the Vatican on December 2nd and 3rd, 2016, to discuss ending poverty. They discussed technology and jobs, global health, food and water, commitment to communities, energy and the environment, and the financial inclusion. All of these, according to the Vatican, are, quote, critical elements related to poverty alleviation, end quote. The group included CEOs from Dow Chemical, IBM, Johnson & Johnson, Monsanto, McKinsey, Siemens, Virgin Group, Alcoa, and WPP, as well as leaders from nonprofit organizations, including the Rockefeller, Ford, and Mo Ibrahim Foundations. Pope Francis met with the group on Saturday. Our world today is marked by great unrest, the Pope told them. Inequality between peoples continues to rise, and many communities are impacted directly by war and poverty, or the migration and displacement which flow from them. People want to make their voices heard and express their concerns and fears. The Pope appealed to the, these global business leaders to think about ways to organize themselves to benefit their communities, and especially the poor. He challenged them to respond to global levels of injustice. The renewal, purification, and strengthening of solid economic models depends on our own personal conversation, conversion, and generosity to those in need. The group spent two days at the Vatican in discussion and working groups to address various challenges and threats to society. Editors from Time and Fortune presented the Pope with a report of their conclusions. The report includes more than 20 solutions that focus on ways the private sector can be a driving force in ending poverty. In a letter to Pope Francis leading the report, Time Incorporated Chief Content Officer and Fortune Editor-in-Chief Alan Mur Murray and Time Incorporated News Group Editorial Director Time and Chief Nancy Gibbs wrote, quote, by their policies and practices, by the actions of their employees, by their suppliers, and by their example, by the example they set as leaders, these CEOs and their companies have the power to do much good in the world. In addition to stimulating their efforts, the efforts of the people who are here, we hope that the work of this group will inspire other business leaders and company heads to take similar actions, end quote. The host committee included the following individuals and organizations. Klaus Kleinfeld, Chairman and CEO of Alcoa. Kuz Becker, Chairman, Naspers. Rich Lesser, President and CEO of the Boston Consulting Group. Richard Branson, Chairman, Virgin Group. Andrew Laviris, Chairman, President and CEO of the Dow Chemical Company. I'll just list the rest of the companies. L1 Energy, Land's End. First Eastman or Eastern Investment Group, Flex, the Institute for Liberty and Democracy, Campbell Soup Company, Rothschild, Pepsi, ENI, Walgreens, DeLowit, Barclays Africa Group, BlackRock, Telecom Italia. TIAA, the Rockefeller Foundation, Johnson & Johnson, IBM, Monsanto, WPP, Mo Ibrahim Foundation, Columbia University, Nover Novartis, Wells Fargo, Johnson & Johnson, SC Johnson & Son Incorporated, Ford Foundation, Siemens, Allstate. These CEOs and many others who attended know that their success is partially dependent on their connection to Rome bringing top global business leaders to Rome to help the papacy by discussing how to solve global problems gets business leaders engaged with Rome and is a good opportunity for the Vatican to influence them and draw them closer to her. Our wonders, one wonders how many of them brought large donations with them. And this is just a quote from the Bible, for all nations have drunk of the wine of the wrath of her fornication and the kings of the earth hath committed fornication with her and the merchants of the earth are waxed rich through the abundance of her delicacies. Revelation 18.3 Well, whether or not you connect this to biblical
prophecy or not, and I'm not saying that you should or shouldn't, but it is really amazing the amount of money that the Vatican has. I think the last time I checked it was in the billions. So they're, it's a very powerful organization. And it scares me that all of these companies and, and leaders are so closely united with the Pope and the papacy. Just something to ponder. It's a really powerful picture. He's sitting right in the center. There he is. There are all the leaders. Nice time for a photo opportunity. Hope everyone's having a great day. Be safe.